So, I've been making a game. The point is to capture real world territory, which will then be recorded on a large central map. If functions like Foursquare and Swarm, and that you check into places to compete for like who owns them. The catch is that everyone's playing the same game and so everyone's competing for the same real world territory. So you could be competing against your friends for uh, possession of the local coffee shop if you wanted to. And because everyone's fighting over the same territory, you don't only have to capture it, you've got to defend it as well. And to defend the territory, you're going to need an army. So how do you get this army? Well, when you capture territory, you also capture all the buildings and the people in the buildings as well. So, if you can get those people to like you, then they'll help you fight to defend the place. Now, different buildings are going to have different types of people in them. So, for example, a banker in a bank isn't going to be very good at fighting, but they're going to earn you money so you can hire more people to fight for you. So, everyone in the territory that you capture is going to have their own little quest for you to do as well. The uh, shopkeeper from your local Sainsbury's might have something for you to do. Or like an upset parent might come up to you asking you to find their lost kid. Now these quests will require you to actually go to a physical location where a uh, digital NPC will be waiting to uh, have a talk with you. To make things a bit more interesting, it's all going to be set in the Victorian era as well. to uh, wrap up my coding a little bit early. That is uh, the few post-it notes that I was currently really shooting for. So I'm just going to go to the cafe and start designing the user interface. Pretty exciting. That went really well. I think I've got everything down, although I'm not sure. I'll have to uh, get onto Photoshop when I get home and find out. I may be thinking a little too grand. It's quite art heavy. I know a couple of people who might be interested. Definitely not me, I can't draw for shit. This could be uh, quite interesting. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so here's where I stand. The basic functionality is working. You can click a button, it'll claim an area around your current location and save that territory and all the buildings inside that territory to the database so that when you sign in next time, it'll all load and it'll all be there. The Photoshop designs have been done for the home page and the territory overview page as well as the building details panel. I have some ideas for what the agents panel will look like. The agents being the people inside the buildings. Next up is to marry the two and start implementing this design. Because all the basic functionality is there, as soon as we implement the basic design, then we should be able to get an alpha out for public testing within a fortnight. I'm gonna shoot for that. Probably just to friends for now, just because um, it's pretty insecure 
probably quite easy to exploit, so I need to close a lot of security loopholes before I can make this like open to the wider public. Okay, so that's the next few weeks, but I need to end videos somewhere. So for now, be good, be sound, be safe. Perfect sound.